for a very long time because it was raining fours and sixes they went with all guns placing some lovely cricketing shots from the right hand gotcha. rush, I hope who was uh, has been appointed as the new skipper change of fortune the way he batted picked up his 15 quick time and also Tamim played some gorgeous looking shots some lovely press touches well look at that steepler and that was missed just couldn't get his hands on it and that uh, made the batters even more attacking the hope was really going with all guns blazing and joining in the fun was Tamim Iqbal with lovely shots down the ground like that the maximum he was enjoying himself he was looking towards that century with the knock up and that was clouted a long long way both the batters used 30 360 degrees shots all around the ground and lit up the air but eventually Tamim in his pursuit of a century in the last over hold out and was caught by Koshdil the quick flurry of batting from Azam Khan to finish the innings and take Kulna to a mammoth total of 210 for two in their 20 overs and that's the second highest score. Well, Mohammed Rizwan and Lip Das made their way to the wicket and immediately boundaries were found. They needed boundaries. Chasing 211 for victory. Rizwan was brutal. He's such a clever player. The nuggety little hey, left hander. He moves so well in the crease. He gets down the wicket well. That was the Imral case dismissal. And then Johnson Charles walked to the wicket and joined Rizwan. That's where everything happened. The mayhem started happened at that point. They started slowly and then Johnson Charles started to go big. Announced himself with some really big shots. And Johnston Charles, Johnson Charles has, uh, had arrived. Rizwan was good at the other end too, getting to his half century in quick time. And yes, he was quick on his feet. Very quick indeed, but Johnson Charles, it was all power. I don't think he was depending too much on his speed. It was more hand-eye coordination. You see the ball, you hit the ball, and you connect them. Some wonderful batting. This was a lovely catch by Shea Hope. And at this point, the Kulna Tigers would have thought, well, we've got a chance here. But the big West Indian said, uh-uh, not just yet. From overs 10 to 15, 71 runs were scored by the Camilla Victorians. And this fella wasn't done they tried around the wicket they tried over the wicket they went at leg stump they bowled wide of the stumps everything they delivered went for six or four 17 fours and first an incredible hundred from a very talented player kushtal shah came found a boundary and then hold out court mid on but at this stage the game was done and it just needed the icing on the cake mosadek wanted two he got four but here was the icing, the cherry on the top. Unbeaten, 107. Victory 